China shows new rifle-sized railgun prototype in a demonstration video. Hello lovely YouTube family! Welcome back to Tech & Vision. In today's topic, we are going to talk about China's new rifle-sized prototype demonstrated in a video. Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Technology is evolving and fast. Looks like China is giving the rest of the world a run for its money. Are we surprised? We shouldn't be because this is the same country that invented manufacturing of paper, the compass, we would be lost without China, gunpowder, and printing. These are just four of the greatest inventions. Over the years, China has not slept on its potential. On top of all inventions, the technologically advanced country has added a rifle-sized gun to its list. What exactly is a railgun? Based on the title, it appears a railgun is such a huge deal. But what exactly is a railgun and what are its capabilities? Primarily built as a weapon, a railgun is a device that uses electromagnetic force to launch items at a very high velocity. Unlike the usual rifle that uses gunpowder, electromagnetic railguns require electricity to operate. This is possible by use of magnetic fields created by the electrical current to launch projectiles. For it to work, the current needs to be very high. For a normal gun, the best speed it can do is 2 km per second, but for a railgun, it can do up to 3 km per second, which is 50% more than the normal gun. It also does away with the need to transport explosive propellants or warheads, potentially making railgun-equipped warships far safer than traditional ones. A French creative genius, Louis-Octave fauchon ville invented an electric cannon which is the first and oldest version of a railgun. He applied for the United States patent and got it two years later. A railgun roughly measures 65 feet. The magnetic tracks that drive metal bullets to speeds of above Mach 7 are accommodated by the barrel's width. For the 65 feet, 33 feet is accounted for by the barrel alone. The diameter measures about 12 to 20 feet. How powerful are railguns? The massive weapon can attack ships up to 125 miles afar and rip armored hulls apart like you would rip a piece of paper. It's pretty much effortless. The United States Navy has a railgun that can fire projectiles at speeds of up to 5,000 miles per hour. To perform effectively, the gun needs 25 megawatts of power. However, most battleships can only manage 9. A railgun and a firm are not the same thing. Railgun Basics Simply put, the railgun is a huge electric conductor made up of a power source, rails, and armatures. The power supply is mainly responsible for providing electricity. For it to work effectively, amperage needs to be a bit high. The rails are the metals, mostly copper, used for conduction. The size of the rails always varies but ranges from 4 to 70 feet. The armature acts like a bridge. It bridges the two parallel rails. In most cases, the armature is a conductive metal which also houses either dart or a projectile. China's rifle size Railgun While the likes of the United States and Russia are struggling with railguns, China seems to have overcome. Not only has China successfully used a railgun on a sailing ship at sea, it has also managed to build a miniature version. Being the number military research institution, Logistical Engineering University of the People's Liberation Army was responsible for the creation of this invention. The weapon has been dubbed Small Synchronous Induction Coil Gun. To show its effectiveness, the railgun was used to explode balloons and punch holes in wooden and metal objects aimed at. The video also showed the targets in forms of pistol, rifle, and robot-mounted versions of the railgun. As advanced as this technology sounds, the concept behind creation of these types of weapons is not. It is a known fact that the concept dates back to the 30s. The concept uses an electromagnet to propel the bullet and overcome the disadvantages that are brought about by gunpowder. The traditional rifles can only execute velocities of around 2000 meters per second, yet the railgun can do much more than that. Another advantage the railgun has over the traditional one is that they can reach any speed without producing too much sound. These weapons do not emit gases, which means it has a high rate of fire. The electrical power required to propel the bullet is a limiting element in electromagnetic pistols. The Chinese electromagnetic pistols store and release energy using battery power and a capacitor discharge. However, once this technical issue is resolved, coil guns could grow much more powerful and even replace today's firearms. This sounds all too familiar to sci-fi fans. In the fictional movie The Eraser, 
Arnold Schwarzenegger was in possession of these types of machines, which at the time were called Gauss rifles or mass drivers. China is going all out when it comes to producing railguns. They have already placed prototypes on some of their warships. Military experts predict that the railgun will become the PLA Navy's main warship gun in the future, citing variations of the Type 055 destroyer as possible platforms. Coil Guns vs. Railguns these two tend to serve the same purpose when used under the right circumstances. Basically, a rail gun consists of two conducting rails with an armature between them. Contrary to this, a coil gun is a combination of several magnetic coils laid throughout the end to attract the projectile. In essence, coil guns are more complex than rail guns. It is not so complicated to build your own coil gun, and no extensive research is required to achieve this. The makers of the coil gun discovered that the design used in creation is capable of propelling a 30 caliber bullet weighing 8 grams to a distance of about 39 meters per second. This is way less than what actual guns can do, but it justifies the principle. The designation of China's new small synchronous induction coil gun suggests that it is related to the much larger 15-stage synchronous induction coil gun, which fires a 120 millimeters projectile. This was disclosed by Chinese researchers about nine years ago. This utilized a pattern of 15 coils, all of which were activated by the same electric pulse, a technique that ensured the task of precise timing of the coils was much easier. The Chinese researchers have not stopped there. They have also been developing a four-stage coil gun, with additional research focusing on improving the efficiency of transferring electrical energy to projectile velocity. The railguns in the new video appear more stunning than the nuts and bolts construction weapon. However, if one is keen enough, they do not look as impressive. The balloons are hit at a close range. The coil gun appears to penetrate more than four layers of plywood. The rifle performs almost twice as well. The metal target's thickness isn't seen, although they appear to be thin. A regular 5.56mm rifle bullet, on the other hand, is capable of piercing more than 60 centimeters of pinewood board or half an inch of steel. What does all these mean? This simply indicates that coil guns are not yet ready to replace traditional firearms. The demonstration of the invention is quite fascinating, especially the amount of time taken to demonstrate how a toy vessel robot can be remotely commanded to move around and shoot targets. Invention may not matter. Even though China has beaten the United States with this invention, experts have come out to state that even if they are successful, there won't be much of a difference in reducing conflict between the two countries. China mentioned that it will soon transition to railguns instead of the traditional means. It is worth noting that the United States counterparts have been trying to achieve this for more than 10 years. Naval affairs specialists argue that even the greatest inventions have significant flaws that make them a poor replacement for existing inventions. The first railgun suspicions by the Chinese surfaced on the internet back in 2018, causing the Navy to make headlines people could not help but notice the vessel, dubbed the Yangtze River Monster at the time. It was photographed and parked on the Yangtze River at a yard meant for ships in Wuhan. The same ship resurfaced close to a year later. Useless technology? As surprising as it may sound, China is not the first country to take interest in this type of technology. The United States Navy had taken a keen interest in the same with a promise of strikes as far as 200 miles. What made China overtake them? During the time of development, the military made a discovery that the invention was more of a liability than it was an asset. How is this possible? Even though the railguns are still cheaper than a missile, the rounds ended up being super expensive than they were previously anticipated. This is because they need more complicated navigation systems to avoid being rendered unusable by the simplest GPS jammer. Although the rounds for the railgun are more powerful than regular 5-inch gun projectiles, they lack the destructive capability of missiles, making them not so reliable in strike missions. Another advantage the missiles have over the new invention is that it can also be used to track down targets. The railgun has a slow rate of fire which is about 8 rounds per minute. This is not so reliable when it comes to targets that are moving fast, those in the air, and those defending missiles. Another problem with the railgun is power and maintenance. It requires a lot of power to get a cannon fired up and the sheer force of firing projectiles at high velocities causes the barrel to wear faster than usual. After a few dozen shots, the barrel would most certainly need to be replaced, limiting the gun to a single engagement. The United States Navy has slowed down this technology's research because of a couple of issues they are yet to overcome that had to do with the technology.
Despite all these challenges, the United States of America is still researching the invention. It was not just about letting go of something they've been working on for over a decade and spent millions of dollars. The team researchers believe that maybe with time, there's going to be some technological advances that will allow it to become more military friendly. As China takes a victory lap, the United States will keep digging for better results. It is also possible that China will face the problems the US Navy faced in the past. The Chinese military wished to showcase the world their technological advancement and looks like they just may have done that with this railgun. Other projects. Apart from railguns, the Chinese military is also interested in modernized aircraft carriers. The Navy currently has only carrier services, the second one is in try and the third is still in development somewhere mysterious. The first and second aircraft carriers use ski jump assisted short takeoff but arrested recovery STOBAR, launch systems. However, it's possible that the third will use the far more powerful electromagnetic catapult assisted takeoff but assisted recovery CATOBAR launch system. All we can do for now is wait and see. Conclusion We should expect that with time, more advancements are going to be made because the world is fast evolving. With fresh minds in the game every day, the sky's the limit. What inventions or upgrades do you expect in the future? Let us know in the comments down below. And that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you hit that red button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.